Hi garden friends, this is Era. This is Gardening on Purpose. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Hi guys. Um, today I want to do a spotlight on lamb's ear. I love lamb's ear. I love the way it looks. I love the texture. I love how it just multiplies, but it doesn't multiply like out of the way like it doesn't go above and beyond it multiply you can tell that the plant is getting bigger but it's not like invasive from what i've seen so far so this is one patch of um lamb's ear that i have i have another patch down there you can see it and i have another patch all the way down there see right down there so i have a bunch of patches of uh, lamb's ear and um, this all started from one plant I bought one plant at Home Depot and that was a year and a half ago and I put it in a container and it did really really well but it quickly outgrew the container and I took it out of the container and I separated it and I separated it into a couple of pieces as you can see and they literally started like spreading so just a close-up so this is what it looks like underneath here the only the only downside and I don't think it's really a downside but the only thing that people have complained about with lamb's ear is that it does get this browning and yellowing but I mean this is a simple fix I mean you literally just go in here and pull it out if you don't like what it looks like at the bottom you just go out and you just pull that brown leaf out of there but again the only thing I did with this is the typical fertilizing that I did back in March where everybody got fertilized at the same time I did not give this plant any special treatment this plant is just gorgeous look at that silvery foliage look at that I would recommend and it's really soft really soft it definitely looks and feels like a lamb's ear. So if you're looking for a perennial, and like I said, this one will look kind of dready when the winter comes, but it will come back. It will come back and it will look like this. And like I said, if you don't like what it looks like underneath here, you go in and as you can see underneath here, it's beginning to have new baby lamb's ear for when the, the bigger ones actually begin to die off. So that's the beauty about lamb's ear. It's constantly growing. Something's happening on the on the, on the, uh, the under end. Um, let me know if you have any questions about lamb's ear. If you have lamb's ear and if you have, because I know there's different types of lamb's ear. Now, when I first started gardening, I didn't keep my tags like I should have. So I don't know the exact name of this uh, lamb's ear. And my uh, plant app, is wishy-washy <laughs> so I can't say exactly what it is based on what the plant app told me I just know it's a lamb's ear so let me know if you have any questions about lamb's ear if you have lamb's ear or if you're thinking about lamb's ear but you don't know I have clay soil and I'm in zone 7b and the lamb's ear is doing fine my entire garden gardening in the backyard that actually goes in the ground I always put um, uh, um, what do you call it um, can't get out the word I can't get the word out of my mouth um, pine bark pine bark to really loosen up the clay because my clay is really thick and there are parts where the clay is thicker than others but as you can see on my garden bed things are looking kind of okay they are not bothered by this clay and I think it's because I put the work in with the pine, the pine bark and which is a, which is a soil conditioner it's pretty much a soil conditioner that's all I do I don't put plant in a mix in there I don't buy garden soil and throw it in the hole all I do is I put pine bark which is the soil conditioner with the clay and that is it so let me know if you have any questions again this is era this is gardening on purpose please like please share please subscribe please tell somebody about the channel and I will see you on the next video bye bye